my name is Steve Raza. I'm author of 10 sci-fi and fantasy books and a number of short stories. You can find them all on Amazon and through Enclave Publishing. And I just had a new short story called Bailout that I released today. I work here at the Johnson County Library, which is great because I get to see all kinds of new and interesting books coming in every day. It's always neat to see what other ideas other people are using. And what I really like is seeing the different styles of writing and getting to flip open those books and seeing how people do their stories. And that influences sometimes what I do or what I decide not to do. First video game I remember playing was on a Atari system of some kind that had the fake wood paneling around the sides and kind of chrome on top. I think it was some version of Michael Crichton's Westworld movie with digital cowboys shooting out on a 2D background, breaking trees and, and bouncing the bullet off of trees. Very, very strange game now that I think about it, but it was a lot of fun when I was a kid. I think in the past several decades, there's been this new connection between video games and fiction and even movies. They've all kind of become interlinked and stories are becoming a much more important part of video games than just, you know, the, the classic games from the 80s and 90s where it was, I'm driving my car and I'm blowing things up. Uh, their storylines have gotten more complex and I'm still amazed even when my young boys play video games at how much reading is involved that they're doing while they're on the screen. I know from talking to other writers, they're always excited to hear when somebody they know gets to do a video game novelization, a book based on a video game world. That to them seems like a really exciting opportunity to get in touch with a new audience of readers. Maybe somebody who wouldn't have necessarily picked up one of their books to read, but now that it's linked with a video game they like, all of a sudden they're gonna read and maybe be introduced to those person's other books. I think that video gaming can be helpful to encouraging your creativity and helping you pursue other things like writing or art or filming, things like that. I've actually taken my first foray into that with my novel Empire's Rift that is promoting the Takamo universe. The Takamo universe is a online space strategy game, kind of a mix of risk and civilization, I guess you could say that's being redeveloped from a play-by-mail game that was originally introduced in the 1980s. And so Empire's Rift is one of the novels that is kicking off an effort to tell the backstory of the game universe, partially to further flesh out that world and also to raise money and raise awareness for the game that's in development. Um, I used to play video games a lot when I was a kid, especially coming home after school and after homework was done. I do still like to immerse myself in those fictional world, I guess you could say. Um, a lot of times it helps spur, not necessarily ideas, but just get your imagination moving so that you can get back to your own ideas and say, okay, well now that I've had this input, I can get back to working on my stories.